Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I just finished making a video about an hour or so ago where I was uh, field testing the uh, spark from Sagebrush Customs and I was showing you guys the old Smith Mansion. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. But uh, I'm up out of that canyon now and I'm up here on top, high desert, and it's starting to snow again. And the wind's starting to blow and I found a place where uh, I want to build a fire and put up a just a little quick shelter using a poncho to keep the snow and the wind off of me and then I'll have some of that heat from the fire coming in and get all warm and have some lunch so uh, in my video I just did um, again I was uh, field testing the spark from sagebrush customs I talked to you guys about sagebrush bark for getting a fire going. Right here is exactly what I was talking about. Big old piece of desert sagebrush out here. I'm surrounded by it. It's everywhere up here. And this branch that curves out up here on the top, I can feel dampness in my hand. Underneath, that's dry. So I'm just going to strip off a bunch of this and we're going to go put up a quick shelter and a fire. So I'm going to get some more of this off of here. And that's all you do, just start reaching up underneath and stripping it off and get yourself enough to make a nice ball of it. Oh yeah, that's really dry there. Yep. Some more up under here. Okay, that's gonna work. That's what I want. Look at that. All right, pause you guys, move over here. I'll show you what I found and the reason I picked this spot to set up, and then I'll show you how I do a quick. Uh, poncho shelter just to block the rain, wind and rain or in this case snow All right, hang on Okay, as I was driving along I drove by this fallen juniper tree and uh, I just I had to stop here look at all this firewood. I mean old dead branches I'm gonna use this to get my fire going and uh, I got my little saw with me, my little baco, if I want to put some bigger ones on. Depends on how long I say stay. But uh, I'm going to use that to get my fire going. So move you guys over here. Pause you one more time and then I'll set up this little poncho shelter. Okay. There's a little bank sits up here. And there's a kind of a drainage right here and I've dug out a pit I'll show you guys that shortly where I'm gonna put a fire I'm gonna sit up on this little embankment with the fire right here below me winds coming this way right now blowing the snow towards you so I grabbed a couple poles and uh, lashed them together like so okay I'm gonna use these to put some shelter over me. Military poncho. I just got a stick with some parachute cord tied around it and I'm going to put the other end through 
the grommet on the poncho. And then I'm going to put this on one side of my bipod and I'm going to stake down the back of it. And I'm going to pull this cord out and stake down the other side of it. Okay. about there should work. So I'm just going to have to leave that down for now. I can readjust that as I need to. I think that'll work right there. I'm gonna grab a couple more stakes. Okay, I grabbed a couple more stakes. I got my bipod standing up. The poncho is staked down in the very back. So I'm just pulling this up tight. And I'm gonna run this cord off to the side uh, away from my fire. Wrapping around my stake here several times, tie it off. There we go. I'll stake out the uh, sides. The other side here. Now that is going to keep the snow off me and the wind, the snow and the wind are blowing right towards you. So this is going to help keep it off me, keep me dry. And then right here in front, I'm going to build a fire and have the heat coming up right in here. And I've got a little pad in my truck. I'm going to go get out of my truck so I can sit on a pad here instead of sitting on the cold ground. So. Pause you guys and see if I can get you down here or you can see me making my fire. 
Okay, I got a, a little pit dug right here and I got that sagebrush bark. I'm turning that inside out. And I got a bunch of those broken off limbs off that dead juniper. I got myself a few little pieces of fat wood that I have with me, cut up, chopped up. Use that uh, spark from uh, Sagebrush Customs that I used last time. See if we can't get a flame down in here. Have to have to prep this a little more. I haven't got enough fine hairs in there. Also, didn't have a very good ball made. All right. Try that. There we go. You guys can see that right there. I'm gonna get some of this fat wood down on there. making just like a little log cabin. There we go, nice. And then these are good and dry and they'll take right off. That'll work. And I'll go break off a bunch more off that uh, juniper. Get me a nice, nice fire going. Let's see, turn you guys, you can see that. Very nice. So I've got my shelter here. And I'm going to sit, sit right here on this elevated platform and build this fire up some, have some lunch. And if more of that storm, which is out there coming my way, comes in, I'll be warm and I'll be uh, blocked from the wind and I'll be dry. Guys, thanks again for watching Ochoco Bushcraft and uh, hope you liked what I did out here, making the little shelter in the fire. High desert is a very cool place to be in the winter time. Uh, so it's just like there's a lot more activity out here. Probably because, well, I'm sure because of the increased moisture, there's a lot more deer and whatnot moving around, but uh, very cool. Thanks guys, take care.